Hello everyone, how you doing? Today, we are going to Lisbon. So for you that don't know, it's Portugal's capital. More specifically to the Banking Training Institute. Because in Portugal, it's required by law that the employer must give the employee about 40 hours of mandatory training every year. So that the workforce can acquire new skills and knowledges and keep up to date with the job's new requirements, which in my case, it's, you know, banking. And specifically, we have some requirements that are a little bit more defined and strict, so it's required that for us to go do some exams. Talking about the exams, it's about 40 questions and that we have to answer. For you that don't know, from my city, to Lisbon is roughly about two hours drive. In, if you're in a hurry, probably can do it in one hour and 20 minutes, you know. In this channel, we're all about keeping up with the law. Right after that, or the exam, I'm going to take you to lunch. After lunch, I'm going to take you shopping because I need to buy a serving plate from La Croissette probably butchered the name but you're gonna see which shop it is and right after that I thought that we could go to the National Horse Fair that's going on here in Portugal from this in this week in November it's always the first week in November here we are at uh, Ponte Vasco da Gama it's uh, the biggest bridge here in Portugal here we are at the parking lot where I left the car. To get here, I would say I probably got lost four times and I will not be showing you that because you know, I have self-preservation skills. This is the building where I will be taking the test. If you don't know what you're looking for, it will probably pass right by you and you won't even know what it is. This is the waiting room. We had to wait here until we got in and did do the test. If you're wondering, I did pass the test. Chill. I know what I'm doing. So this is me going to lunch. We are going to a shopping called Colombo. I ate at the uh, Italian Republic, I ate a lasagna, which was very good in my humble opinion. I don't have standards of the Italian, so I, I will not judge on that kind of department. Since it's November, the, tr the Christmas tree is already up and going, and yeah, this is a small video of it and a picture. This is us leaving Lisbon, again in Pont Vaz de Gama. We are going to another shopping mall, this one, it's... Uh, not go shopping. It's a pity that they don't have the Christmas decorations on because they are very beautiful. Hopefully I will go there before Christmas and I'll show you. Uh, before we went and bought the serving plate we decided to go to Starbucks and get a coffee and a slice of cake because you know cake's always very good. Doesn't help with the gym but you know that's life. Here's the shop that we wanted to visit, here's the inside of the shop, and here is the plate that we wanted to buy. Very beautiful, I would say. Right after buying what we wanted to buy, we got going, and to get to the horse fair we had to go through whole towns, villages. No, it's beautiful if you like something a little bit more of the countryside, I would say. To get to the horse fair, which is in a, a very old town called Guga, you had to go through this bridge, this iron bridge. It's very old, only a car at the time can go through it. We had to wait on the other side to go. 
even before we got to the center of the fair, there's already people going from on horseback. And we got to experience a person, seeing a person fall. As you can see, the fair is very crowded. There's a lot of shops, either to buy food, drinks, other things. There was this guy out of nowhere that had, you know, fairies or fairies, I don't know the word in English, and a goat that was just showing them around. It was a bit cruel, but you know, also very nice to see because that's not always every day that you see uh, a fairy. A little bit of context on this fair. It started in the 18th century, if memory doesn't fail me. It was mainly used so that the army could buy horses from the common folk. After the time that the army did not need horses, people still kept it up coming here and you know showing off their horses where you can you know buy them sell them show them off for the pleasure of showing off uh, there are two sides of each coin there's a place where you go in circles not a perfect circle because there's two sides that are a bit bigger than the other and there's this one that's more of a, a controlled environment where it's more as a place of business Probably, not probably, most certainly, do show off your horse. And if people are interested, they will come up to you and you know, conduct business. There's also the custom, the custom of buying castanhas and eating them, either boiled or roasted. You know, it's a very, it's a very good custom to have, I would say. And this is us, you know, leaving on the trip back home, already nightfall. And yeah, thank you for keeping up with me and seeing this video to the end. Congrats. Thank you. See you around.